Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with Planet Zoo. Last week we did a different video of the tenants. Um, I will be making more videos of the tenants just because I like the game, but they won't be coming out on Friday. Um, that was nearly a necessity last week because I didn't have time to build something in Planet Zoo and I did want to deliver a video. So this week we are back with our reptile zoo and I just took an overlook view and his zoo is quite big already. It is like enormous and I'm quite happy with it. Now off uh, camera I did put in a gondola, like a suspended gondola from one side of the park to the other side. Um, perhaps in the cinematics you've seen it and otherwise you could possibly seen it or you could possibly see it. There it is, look in the background there left and top. You see like the suspenders and the supports. And it's basically to get from the one side of the park to the other side. Because when when I was building the elephant habitat, I realized, wait, how am I going to connect the elephant habitat to the lion habitat or the Bengal tiger habitat across? I didn't want to build an enormous bridge because that, you know, that kind of ruined the entire illusion of this great big lake. So I put a gondola. I never used it. It was quite a challenge to use it correctly. But we have a gondola. It is five dollars or euros or whatever currency this game is in. And you know, you can go from one side of the island to the other side. So, you know, when you go to the zoo, you don't have to walk all the way back to get to the other side. You can just use a happy gondola. I mean, of course, if you want to, you could walk all the way back because obviously the gondola isn't free. You know, uh, us zoo people have to make money. <laughs> anyway, so that was what I did off screen. And now we are building a habitat for the Barbarossa. If I pronounce that correctly, I have no clue. Before the East uh, Asia pack came out, I had never heard of this animal. Um, that's probably making me sound incredibly stupid, but I'm sorry. Um, I've never heard of it. Like seeing the pictures, never see it, never seen it. I googled it, apparently um, the Barbarossa, again, still not sure if I pronounced that correctly, is also called a deer pick. Which I kind of get because it looks like a pig. Like, let's be honest, it kind of looks like a pig. But then it has like these big horns, which kind of resembling the horns that deers have. And I know that they're not called deers on uh, horn. Oh, antlers, that was the word I'm looking for. See, in Dutch, it's gewei. And I remember those names. I, I sometimes just I can't remember the English names or stuff like that because I never really use them. You know, I don't talk with my friends um, in English on a daily basis about animals. Let's just be honest, I talk with my friends about Dungeons and Dragons and gaming. And that's basically it. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, let's not get, let's not dive into that too deep because then um, my life is going to be a bit sad, I'm afraid. Anyways, so we are building a habitat for this animal. And I didn't really know anything about this animal, so I googled it and I looked at its natural habitat and I was just thinking, hmm, there's quite a bit of mud and sand that it has. It didn't really have a lot of um, plants, obviously I am going to give it, you know, just because I love plants. Plus, we are building in a tropical environment, and in my mind, tropical environment means a lot of plants and warmth. So, you know, we are already building on this tiny island. We are actually building um, right next to the island uh, where the gorillas are at, and the island where the lemurs are at, that's in the back. And then this patch of land is connected to the gharial, which is what um, it's like top left. This is probably very confusing if you don't really have a map of the zoo in your in your head like I do. Just realized that, well, whoops, <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> Just don't worry, once the zoo is finally complete, I will do an entire tour and I will make a map. And you know, you will be able to see where everything is, which will probably be a lot of work. Um, a few episodes ago, I closed the zoo, I decided to reopen just to see if my uh, zoo can handle it. It didn't, the guests just came pouring in. I had like over 7,000 guests and I was like, well, that's not good for my FPS. So we wanted them close to zoo. I limited the amount of guests that actually can go in, which I'm very happy to uh, announce that I finally know where that is because I could never find it. 
but I limit the amount of guests to 500. So you can see like uh, on the bottom, you can still see like, I think it's like 47 or 4,300 people are still in there, but they are gonna leave. Um, unfortunately, I had to rebuild this habitat quite a lot of times because then I had my uh, zoo running. And for some odd reason, Planet Zoo kept crashing. Well, I mean, it's not very odd. I know the reason because there is a ridiculously amount of stuff in the zoo and a ridiculous amount of people in the zoo. So obviously it's going to crash. I mean, that's just what I think. I'm not a computer nerd or anything. So that's what I think, you know? <laughs> So I paused the game now and like after I built this entire uh, habitat, I just put the game on play and just seen all the guests go away, just like, yes, go away, thank you, please, so I can quietly build my zoo. And you know, as we do, we check the perimeters to see if they can't escape anywhere, because when I was building this, I kept getting alerts that dangerous animals had escaped. And apparently it was the rat panda and they breathed like crazy. Um, a few episodes ago, I cleared out the entire zoo um, of like a lot of animals. I have like over 600 animals in here, which is kind of ridiculous, so we don't want that. So um, I brought it down to so, like the rest pen that had like perhaps five, six animals in there. I checked it out. There were 37 in there, like all babies. And I was like, whoa, what the heck, man? That's so much. So um, I put a bunch of them away, like, you know, release them to the wild. Not that I get conservation credits for that, but it's still nice, you know, it feels good. Talking about con conservation credits, I keep wanting to say conversation, which is something completely different. Um, from the summer, like in the summer, this summer when I moved and I have my, my new home, um, I have this entire office space that I'm going to set up. We'll do a tour, don't worry. Um, but I am planning on starting my own franchise zoo. I had a franchise zoo and I thought, well, you know what, if I delete the zoo, then all the research and everything will be deleted with it. Um, it didn't. And I spent a lot of time, uh, you know, get, getting rid of the zoos, getting rid of all the animals, because I thought, you know what, starting with a little bit of extra conservation credit would be nice. Um, yeah, that didn't happen, so because once I deleted the zoos and started a new zoo just to test, um, apparently all the research is saved. I didn't realize that, so from the summer we are starting a complete new, um, well, not well, new, not that I've done that before, but we are starting a franchise zoo. And I wanted to let you guys know in advance, so perhaps you have any ideas of the zoo we want to start with. And we can do that. It probably won't be a tropical zoo that I'm starting with because, you know, just did this entire zoo. Not interested in doing another big tropical zoo because I've just done that. Well, actually, I'm still working on it. So, you know. Also, um, I don't know when this video is coming. Well, I mean, I know when it's coming up, but I don't know if the video I'm supposed to wait for it to come up with them. I think it should be. Anyway, I'm in this Discord and uh, I participated in a contest of a mini zoo, which was quite fun because usually um, I build very big zoos, I build very big habitats, as you can see here on screen. And that zoo really challenged me to think small, which was kind of weird to me because I'm not really used to doing that, but I enjoyed it so much. So that video is coming out. I'm saving that video though for a bit later when I'm actually uh, moving. So you will get that video somewhere in the month of May or June, because that's when I'm moving. And in May and June, there will also be a lot of pre-recorded videos. So um, if there is new content of any sort, you will not see it in my videos until July. Very sorry for that in advance, but you know, I'm moving, I'm moving, um, no, not across country. That's a little bit of an over-exaggeration. But I'm moving away from my hometown and that's quite difficult to be honest because I love my hometown. I wish I could get a home here or an apartment, but I can't because it's so ridiculously expensive. So um, given the notion, like I live in the Netherlands, the housing market is insane at the moment and I live like, um, well, as we call it under the smoke of Amsterdam, 
I was like 15 minutes and I'm in Amsterdam. I live very close to Amsterdam. So the market prices are insane. They're so, so, so high, which is ridiculous. So I had to move away from there. Still kind of hate it, but you know, I'm getting used to it. It's getting better. I'm sure, I'm sure it will be fine. And at least some of my friends um, will live there or live there already. So that's nice. Uh, of course, due to privacy, I'm not going to give you my new town where I'm living because I'm always quite afraid of stalkers, especially once I live alone. I'm quite afraid that people will break in as well, so won't be doing that. But it's quite a big move, so um, I won't be able to record a lot of videos and make content for you guys. So in the May, well, the spring break that I have, um, I will try to record like a bunch there will probably also be some videos of other games, so, you know, uh, like The Sims or The Tenants or whatever. But, you know, just so you guys know, it's like I'm not deserting you. I'll probably be a bit slow with responding to comments or, um, you know, I, I have a lot of my friends there are here on YouTube as well, so I won't be commenting to their content as well just because I'm busy. Might be able to produce something, but I will. Um, like when it's time, I will make an own Instagram account called uh, Nim is Moving, so you'll be able to keep updated uh, or like keep updates from me if you want. To. Obviously, I'm not going to force you of my moving, the process, uh, packing of my stuff, which is going to be absolutely horrible because I have so much stuff. I live like square, uh, like eight square meters right now. Um, I have so much stuff; it's ridiculous. It's perfect for the home that I'm getting, you know, like I'm moving towards. That's perfect. It would fit beautiful here. But now it's just really, really, really cramped. So I'm obviously like, you know, packing, moving, um, unpacking, decorating, everything like that. I will keep you guys updated on that and uh, I will video it. And then after I'm done, I will make it into a nice, lovely home video of me moving and I will post it on my channel. So if you don't want to, Keep up with the Instagram, you can just watch it on YouTube a bit later, which will probably somewhere be somewhere around summer, I'm afraid, given the time that would take me to record it all and edit it all. Well, you know, just if you're a video content creator, you know how horrible sometimes editing can be. Oh well, I feel like I'm rambling on and I haven't even discussed this habitat, but I'm really happy with it. It looks really nice in my opinion. Um, not I mean, like it is different than what I used to build. Usually I build a lot of natural habitats. This time I have a little bit more of a natural barrier, but I have like a real home where they can stay in and a real place for the guests to see it. So I'm quite happy with that. But I am beginning towards the, it's getting towards the end of the video. So if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And look, we're even in the cinematics and I will hope to see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.